Picking a programming language can be quite difficult. You've got Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, even picking frameworks is a rather daunting task. But oftentimes, picking the right one might be the most important thing you do during your programming journey. So in this video, you will know exactly what programming language is right for you. So you stop wasting time looking at the right ones and you can just go along and start coding and improving your code so you can get that job or start that business. But before we get started, my name is Nizar and I help people go from no code to pro code. I have a startup and I am a self-taught developer. So if you wanna do the same and be a good developer like myself, please hit that like button and subscribe. So around eight months ago, I started my programming journey. And at the time, I didn't have any tech background. I studied law in university and tech in general was something that was scary for me. So I made a quick Google search and looked at what the best programming language is for money. I literally searched that up. And everyone was saying to study Python. So that's exactly what I did. I went on Code Academy at the time and I just started to learn Python. And five months into studying Python, I eventually gave up because I did not make a lick of progress. You, you don't understand, you think you're not making any progress. I could not write a single line of code without help. And now looking back at it, I know it was because I was not motivated to learn Python. I had no end goal or reason to learn Python and I only did it because it was popular. I simply saw what was popular, which was Python. Everyone was doing Python eight months ago and I went along with it. But eventually I found my way and made the right adjustments and answered the right questions for myself and found myself on the right path, which was and ended up being JavaScript. And that actual day, I remember it to this day, I decided I was gonna learn JavaScript and it made so much sense. I wanted to do software development and JavaScript was that language. And I picked up, I started over again and it was so much easier for me because I had that end goal and I was really hyped to get started. By picking the right programming language, I was able to write more code, I was much more motivated and I enjoyed the whole process more because I knew what I wanted with my life. And I did four things that helped me clarify and identify what language I wanted to pick. But before going over the four main things, you have to realize that you can't be living someone else's dream. There are gurus out there that will tell you that Python is the best language, JavaScript is the best language, whatever that thing is. Though at times they may be right, it is your job to identify what your goals are, which we will go over, and go, go with it. So the four main things that helped me pick out a programming language were start with the end in mind, doing research, building a curriculum, and starting. So we'll just start with number one, obviously, that being starting with the end in mind. Again, you have to realize that you are living your own dream. What is that end goal? Answer questions like, what do I want from programming? Is it to be a software developer? Is it to be a backend developer? Is it a full stack developer? Maybe you wanna go into Web3, AI. Programming is a very vast and wide field. For me, that was software development. I wanted to make SaaS products. And eventually, I figured out that it wasn't Python that I wanted to do, it was JavaScript, because that is the main framework that coincides with software development. A great way to figure out what your goal is, is to ask yourself what you want to build. So pause this video if you want, write it on a piece of paper, and really just try to study what exactly you want. This might be the most important thing in this video. So the next thing is to research. And by research, I mean, look at what people in your field have done. So for example, let's say you wanna be a software developer. Look at videos about how people became software developers. Look at how they studied, what they studied, everything, just so you have a, a broader experience of what you want to do. In addition, you'll know what you're getting yourself into. Like when I when I started Python, I only skimmed through the research and just dabbled in Python research. Like I, I only looked at what people were saying and trusted their word for it. No, you want to know what this language is about, what you are doing, and if this coincides with your goal. Because again, if you don't, you might be going down the wrong path. There are countless of YouTubers in a bunch of programming spaces so don't use this as an excuse to avoid it. Once you've picked the lane you wanna go into, now it's time to research that lane. And now the third thing you wanna do after having that end goal and researching and realizing that you actually wanna do it is to set your curriculum. Now, if you are doing software development, I'll leave a roadmap in the description below, but build out your curriculum. 
I can't explain how important this is. A lot of the times, new programmers, especially self-taught developers, that just because we're out of school or out of college that we don't need a curriculum, you need a curriculum. Like school, put the classes that you need to do. Put the tasks of everything you need to do to understand the language. It might be starting with variables and then working on APIs and then working on user authentic. I don't know, okay? But build something so that you have a roadmap and understand the progress that is needed to get to your end goal. And the final thing, which also might be the hardest thing to do, is to simply start. You have your end goal, okay? You have the research. You understand what you're getting yourself into and you finally have the curriculum that you built for yourself. All is left is to just start coding. This means you're coding two to three hours per day. You're, you're really sitting there and you're actually trying. Now, you, so, some of you may be saying like, what if I don't like this? What if it's not for me? Then you, you can switch it. The main idea of this framework that I just talked about is to identify and make that less of a probability of it happening. And I guarantee, right, if you if you started with the end in mind and you, you set your goals and you set your curriculum and you did some research, you're more likely than not just gonna stick with this because you know what you're getting yourself into. So the main, like the cliff notes, if you want, of this entire video is to know what you're getting yourself into by understanding what the programming language does what it is and what it will do for you. Picking the programming language for you is so much easier. So yeah, that's the entire video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want some free coaching, I'll leave the links in the description down below. My name is Nazar and I'll see you in the next video.